Hey everybody, this is Peter, and in this video segment we're going to drill into events with Sourcefire's IPS. So the first thing we want to do here, we're on our dashboard. As you can see, we have different tabs of what we have on our dashboard. And um, we've highlighted an actual event here where we've got a count of over 41,000. Um, attempted administrator privilege gain. So what we want to do, let's click on that one. And that's a first step into drilling down into the event and then getting into the bits and bytes of the packets that make up the event. All right, so we've come in here. We can actually see all our intrusion uh, events that fall under this category. So you'll see FTP, SMTP, so on and so on. So we're going to go into attempted specific command buffer over overflow for SMTP traffic. Again, we're drilling down a little further now, and you can see on our top here in our menu, we've got time, priority, impact flag, um, inline result, detection engine, so on and so on, the protocols we're using, source IP, destination IP. So let's just scroll down here for a second. We'll choose one of the ones that we want to we want to actually open up here and actually look at. And you'll see all of our, you know, SMTP traffic, the attempted specific command buffer overflow, and the attempted administrative privilege gain. It's all laid out for you. Let's go ahead and click on that one, you know, whatever record that may be, and we'll go ahead and scroll over and click on view. Now view takes you a level even deeper now. So now Let's scroll down here for a second. Now you have basic information. So you have your event information, <clears throat> your classification, your priority, um, your detection engine, what you're using, the name of your host, um, the protocol, source IP, source port, destination IP, destination port, and whether it was a specific rule um, used for this specific event. You also have now the packet information below. So you have frame one and two here. So uh, like you just saw from the beginning of the video, right? We started on our dashboard. Our dashboard said, okay, you know, in plain English, nice and simple, this is what's happening. We clicked into that and we said, okay, which one do we want to look at? We wanted to look at the SMTP problem here. We clicked into that, that brought us deeper and deeper, and now we're actually into the packet. And this is what I really love about the source fire stuff, is that they give you um, all you need to actually look into the packet. So knowing um, or being good with intrusion detection is very important when you're using a system like this, you know, if you're familiar with Snort and so on, um, because you actually get the info. If you actually know what you're looking at, you can obviously detect intrusions a lot easier than, than other people can. So if we go into frame, obviously it starts at frame one, right? We look at our ethernet, we look at frame one, we look at our ethernet, right? Destination max, source max, and so on. You can go into protocol, protocol will show us, you know, IP version four, the header length is 20 bytes, which is normal. Um, you know, total length is 69, flags, so on and so on. So they break it up for you really, really nicely here. Then you go into your, you know, transport layer protocol, which one are you using at that point? You know, we're using TCP, source ports, destination ports, flags, as you can see. Um, you know, we're using push ACK and so on. And then we can look under SMTP, right? The command, hello, 172.16.10.2 is the IP address. You know, and you can look at the packet text. And if you want to get really deep into it, you can actually look in the packet bytes, and that gives you your hex type output. And you can see it there as well. So it gives it to you there as well. If you look at frame two, you know, we can look at the traffic coming back the other way, right? You know, mail from, and there you go. You know, that's obviously a problem if you've seen that uh, type of traffic in your mail logs. Um, you know that it's a buffer overflow attempt. Let's scroll down again. You can look at all the lovely A's that they've put in there for us. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you drill into events with Sourcefire. Hopefully in uh, the next few upcoming videos, we'll actually uh, drill down into some cool stuff and get into the details of the uh, bytes of the packets. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming out. We'll see you next time.